Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to York's Cast Complete Pack Episode 4. And yes, guys, we're back, and uh, I was just messing around in the third person mode. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. A few quick updates. I made iron chest, which is empty, and need to sort out my inventory. I mined a lot. Yeah, you guys can see. I mined a lot and need to remove some stuff that I don't need. Like, what's this? Stealth. Stalacite, Stalacite, I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, so I mined a lot of stuff, um, and yeah, um, I added some, uh, sorry, what do you call them, modifiers on my tools, I added my, uh, a little bit of a diamond on my pickaxe, and uh, one modifier worth of redstone, and it increased the mining speed and the mining level. I can now mine obsidian, I mined 12 obsidian. I added some luck in it, so that uh, if I add some more uh, lapis lazuli into my hammer, it will give me like a uh, fortune one, then we can mine all the diamond we found there. And yeah guys, I found some more diamonds, which I will show you in the, later in this episode or in the next, I don't know, if we get, if we get some time to do that. But yeah, in this episode I've got some plans. Uh, I just want to eat first. Yeah, so in this episode, I guess I'm going to start on uh, a different mod this time. And I guess it's going to be dot craft. So yeah, we can like make some armor and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's get started. So first thing we're going to require is like a sapling. A force gem, no, two, and some pieces of iron. So I'm gonna put it like this and put it there. Okay, you do it like by two. So I guess I'm gonna grab four. I'm gonna convert one of it into nuggets. Grab a stick. Let's make our first force rod. Uh, I think I messed it up. Yeah. So there we go, guys. We have our first force rod. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. I've played it like in uh, Minecraft 1.5.2 in Feed the Beast Unleashed. Uh, it was uh, really different. This one looks really cool. Yeah. So let's uh, throw down the sapling down and right click with it. So we get our four sapling. I'm gonna grab some bone meal and let's grow this guy let's get to like a little plain area put that guy down I want to test this does this work on this come on grow I don't have time to waste right <laughs> yeah this tree looks awesome so these are four slugs. Let's mine them. We even get a sapling. That's awesome. Let's do that one more. A small tree this time, huh? I've got one more bone meal, so I'm going to utilize it. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. A really large tree. Yeah, not that much. But it's good. So yeah, guys. I guess I'm going to put them saplings here to grow. If you want, we can use them later. I need terror from this area. This looks like it's really tough to go to our home, right? Yeah, I guess we'll be soon moving in there. I have some plans like uh, we can like make uh, divide areas for separate mods. I guess we could make like a uh, that area that's in the front, that or this one. I guess that would, one would be easier. Like our crafting area where we can put our applied energetics machines and all that kind of stuff. One could be like for IC2, I guess thermal expansion, and we could divide it. 
And in the center, we could like grow a huge redwood tree, which would be awesome. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. If you guys have any other ideas, make sure you give me. I'm open on it so that uh, it would be easier for me. No, I don't require like so much. So I'm going to make a real force rod this time. It's uh, This one has, uh, when you use a normal stick, it gives me like two uses or three, two to three, I guess. But once you make it with a force stick, it gives you a full durability force rod, which is even better, right? So I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna grab a bite to eat and then I'm gonna grab two diamonds. Yeah, let me just check something out. Uh yeah. How do we make the force infuser? Wasn't it like obsidian? Uh let's see if I can spell it right. Come on. Where's the force infuser? Okay, I'm gonna have to type it. Come on, show up. Oh, there you are. Okay, they have changed it. So you do it with a uh, enchantment table. So I guess that's why I grab. I need to make a book first. I'm gonna make two because I need one for the tomb. Oh, I've got exactly two leather. Perfect. Put one there. Put two diamonds. And there we go. Boom. We have ourselves our enchantment table. Let's throw it on the ground. And right click with it. And there we go. We have ourselves our force infuser. Now I need another book. We're going to throw it. And this makes... Uh, where's the book? Yeah. A great tomb. So yeah, this is like the enchantment book. You level up in it, and once you go to a higher level, you can do better enchantments. Like you can add better stuff. So yeah, uh, I mean yeah, we're pretty much done on it, and we need to provide this guy with the power source. So I guess I'm gonna make a force engine. I guess. That would be good. So we need a piece of glass. So yeah, let's make this guy. I need a piece of redstone for the piston. So there we go. We have ourselves a piston. Now we need to make gear. Okay. doesn't matter three let's put it there and we need to make what's this gas nozzle hmm, I don't know I need some more force jams forcing it put it there. Require like two of them as well. So yeah I think uh, we're pretty much done on that. Need a piece of glass. So yeah. There we go. We have ourselves a force engine and now I need to make a lever. So let's put this guy down. Where should we do it? I think I'm gonna first go to sleep. Because it's nighttime outside. Like dangerous creatures out. Hmm. So where should we do it? Come on, I don't have any space. Where should I put it? Hmm. Right, right here. So let's open this guy up. We need to put our upgrade tomb there. Great tome, sorry. I guess that's how it's pronounced. Info. 
if you haven't already done so you should make a book of Majora as it contains the sum of all Darkcraft knowledge simply force transmute a bookshelf and you'll know you're mastering Darkcraft okay what about this it appears to be a small fragment of force perhaps I could use this to modify a sword okay, even this got enchantments like that need to put it there I'm gonna put the lever right there I need to move the bed I'm gonna have to put like three there and three there and it should be it should start generating power slowly but surely yeah that's awesome and yeah I mean it started generating power now what is this it's got a really good GUI Now we need to provide this guy with some water so that it doesn't get overheated. I'm gonna grab another bucket. Ooh, the force free screw. Okay, awesome. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> now it's generating power. So yeah, the one thing that I uh, made, okay, it's a fuel for the force engine, awesome. Yeah, the one thing I made this because I just wanted to get started on force armor. I thought that would be really cool. We could add like super enchantments to it. If I could find it, yeah, there we go. Force cap, force tunic, force guild and force boots so we need oh they've changed it as well it was like first you make uh, a leather armor then you transmute it with the force rod but they have changed it now which is awesome because we don't have a lot of leather hmm okay so yeah but uh, before getting into that I guess I'm gonna first make a force shovel put it in there put a piece of coal oh okay I guess you first put sugar I guess I can put another one So you press the go button, it starts transmuting with this awesome particle effect and crazy sound. So once you're done, you can see it made a force shovel with speed 2. So let's try this guy out. Let's see how fast is it. Uh, yeah, as you guys can see, it's pretty fast like using efficiency 3. Yeah, but it's got like really low durability. Yeah. So if you shift right click on it, no, so you don't need to do that. Okay. So um, if you do that, you can see that uh, it says next year 66 points. So if I go to like next year, then I can, I guess coal is the next year. You can use it one more. Uh, space here so if you use coal it would make like it's a heat shovel then you can auto smelt stuff like if I mine uh, sand yeah for example sand it will give me glass instead of sand so isn't that awesome so I'm gonna just simply wait for this guy uh, I'm gonna do this uh, do some enchantments off camera and uh, quickly like upgrade this tomb so that we could use more enchantments I guess it's it has a lot of power you can stop this guy I hear a spider let's go and take care of it 
Hey fool, what do you want? You didn't drop anything? Hmm, nice. <laughs> Not nice, but yeah. So I have a heck lot of gold that I wanna put it in the smeltery. Where should I put the bed? Cause I'm gonna do it right. You guys can see I'm running low on lava. We need to go and collect that as well. Wow, it holds like 37. It's really, 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 really nice. So, one more thing that I wanted to make is a backpack. Let's see, how do you make like a normal backpack? It's like full of leather. Hmm, okay. Do we have like different backpacks? Mariculture? No. It's backpack mod. Okay, this is what I wanted. A normal backpack. Leather. Oh. I guess I'm gonna make a farm before making a backpack. But, uh, one thing that I want to try out is a tank. How hard is it to make a tank? Not an ender tank. Uh, Where's the thermal expansion portable tank? Okay, this tank might be good. Yeah, this one's easier as well. So there we go. And I need to make a four trench. Is it there still? Yeah, there we go. I love this. I love this wrench. So we're going to require some more. Yeah, as you, I think you guys know that we can even use gold to do that. Uh, it gives three of the four ingots, and if we use iron instead of gold, it gives us two. So how much do I require for that? And four. So we're gonna make a uh, four skier. There we go. We have ourselves our four wrench, so we can inefficient fuel. What is it trying to say? Like I don't get it. Insufficient fuel. How do you? How do I fuel it? Like by putting it in here. I don't know what it's going to do. I hope it doesn't ruin my wrench. It's draining a lot of power. Yeah, now it's got some power. Nice. Okay, so. need to do that okay I got it shift right click so you shift right click uh, to pick it up so I'm just gonna go into my mines and show you guys the diamonds that I found and collect some lava so that we can use it in our base for like this smeltery and stuff let's grab a bite to eat first Yeah, as you guys know, we found some diamonds here in the last episode or so, and no, not here. Oh my god, I don't know what am I even doing. But yeah, we found some more diamond. No, not B, but I found some more diamond. We'll start with mining here. Yeah, you guys can see. Yeah, I'm just waiting for a fortune pickaxe. And there's a lot more stuff that we need to mine, like a lot of yellow right, I guess. 
some gold over there. No, that's gold. That's a hello right again. And there's one more place where I found diamonds. So yeah, I don't know. This is the first time I'm finding so much of diamonds. So I'm gonna just build this guy up. So this is where I mined a bit of obsidian with which we made our enchantment table. Okay, yeah it's full. Let's grab this. So does the power get rid? Okay. So I put it back. So it, let's see how much does it drain. It's like 2,300. Oh my god. 100 per use. Oh, that's too much, right? So yeah, let's go back. So yeah, guys, I guess I'm gonna hang out some more. Ooh, creeper. So yeah, as I was telling you guys, I guess I'm gonna hang out a little more time mining off camera and doing some stuff so yeah we did a little bit of dot craft in this episode the next episode I guess I'm gonna start by making some armor and stuff so that we can get ready for battles yeah battles so that we don't have to sleep every night getting scared right yeah so in the next episode yeah guys we're gonna make some armor we're gonna start the episode by making some armor I guess and uh, so yeah if you guys would rate this episode of the Yoke's Cast Complete Pack I would greatly appreciate it and if you guys have any comments and any tips and tricks helpful you think that would be helpful to me to yeah take down the series of step further yeah make sure you guys let me know so that even I could try new stuff and there's a lot of stuff that I don't know you guys can teach me so make sure you guys do that and subscribe to this channel and support me yeah, that's all I want to say I guess there's a mine shaft down there so guys thanks for watching